All right, country here this morning. Still cleaning on all my sheds and everything and buildings around here, just messing around today. And as I find something that I want to keep, it, it's kind of a, one of my projects. I get sidetracked, so then I got to go work on something. Old cheer leg. What I make out of this is this is going to be a worm grunter, or some people say a worm getter, or you may call it a worm rattler. So stick around, watch how I make these. What I'm going to use is my little angle grinder again, and I'll cut some grooves in this. This end here, I'll sharpen it off. I'm just going to take tape measure. Try to measure. I'm gonna make that a groove. I'm gonna make that a groove. Try to measure between these and center that. It gives me like my center of my grooves will be about an inch and a quarter apart. That's pretty good. I'll do another one right in here. Use these old table legs, this hardwood, these table legs, they they work much better than pine does. where that was at, but that'd be all right. this You can cut these grooves with a, your knife, saw, whatever. You're just going to cut some grooves. Just to make it rough. Rigid. <laughs> it had ridges on it. I may not do that one. It's in kind of a little narrow spot anyway. I'll cut these here and see how they turn out. So here goes.
back. What I found was another part of a chair leg. This is the part that goes across. And there's some different sizes in here. I'm going to try something. I've never tried this before. I'm going to try to make this have some different sizes to it. Maybe it'd make different sounds. Try that. I gotta get over here where I can cut this. What I did was I just cut those. Okay, there is the finished product. This would the point would stick in the ground. Then I got a little handle there to hold on to, a little knob like. And there's my rubbing stick. You stick that in the ground, you rub it up and down, and the vibrations make the worms come up out of the ground. So, maybe I'll demonstrate that to you. And I just rubbed this 120 grit sandpaper over it just to kind of rough up what was there. But, uh, take it around. We're going to go get some worms now. First thing, to find worms, you got to know where worms are. And my best place has always been around my barn and in my barn. Going where the moist soil is, go where the rich soil is. That's where you're going to find worms. I'm not finding much sign here. I'm looking around. I may have to show you this in a future video here. When I get ready to go fishing, I can go down in the woods and I can find worms in places down in the woods, in the swamps and all. All I managed to do here around my barn by grunting for my with my worm sticks is to piss off a skunk that lives underneath my barn. I don't know where he went to, but he left a stink trail. I don't see anything in here. I'm looking for castings and stuff, and I just don't see much. I kind of let all this grow up a little too much, and it needs to all be cut. I don't see it, but like, subscribe to my channel, you'll see future videos, you'll see me doing this, you'll see me doing this another time, and you can even find me on Rumble, it's Stephen Country Jones, it's all one word, and go there. Follow me on Rumble. Share my videos around. That's about all I have now.